love. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. My name is Brandy, and on this channel, we celebrate love, life, and all of its luxuries. In today's video, we are having another Wedding Wednesday where I share my expert advice as a planner and how to plan your wedding with intention and style. Before we get started in today's video, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and hit that bell notification so that you know every time I upload a new video. Currently we upload two times a week and hit that notification just in case I upload a bonus video during the week. All right, that's enough of that intro. Let's go ahead and get started with today's video. In today's video, I am going to address one very commonly asked question and slightly controversial question as well is, how much does a wedding cost? Does it have to be expensive in order to be considered luxury? What are the price points and why are these changing so frequently? Is there inflation cost? I may have a few people that disagree, that's fine. I also understand that this question is not a, this is not a cookie cutter answer. This is not a one size fits all answer. If we're being completely honest, I don't agree with the blogs. I don't agree with, you know, the popular wedding wires, the knots, all of these blogs that state what the average range for a wedding is. Now, the problem with average is it's taking all of these different numbers and all of these different statistics and it's just giving you the median range of what a wedding would cost, how much a planner costs, how much a photographer costs, how much you should pay for a venue. All of these are different depending on the market that you're in, the time that you're in, where you're located. All of these different variables can control what you consider to be an expensive or inexpensive wedding. Now, when we're going into those variables I was talking about, location, guest count, the venue type or where it's located. If you choose any vendors who um, can provide a different experience outside of the typical vendors that you've been seeing for weddings. A lot of the times you'll hear planners say, well, it really depends and it does. The biggest thing that I want to address is it honestly depends on the couple. The couple is the largest variable in how much it would cost to plan your wedding. When I say the couple, I mean your preferences, your needs, your wants, your desires, what outcome you're looking for for your wedding day. This all matters when it comes to factoring in what that cost would be like. One of the first and or main vendors that you'll be seeking out is probably a planner. I've discussed the type of planners that there are in a separate video. I'll go ahead and link that in the description box and as well in the card so you can go back and reference to that video later. Now, your planner type is one of the variables that can kind of fluctuate as far as your pricing. If you're considered more of a DIY bride or a DIY groom or a DIY couple, seek options that fit within your price range. Same as for a couple who's seeking a luxury wedding, which I'll get into in just a moment. The type of experience that you're looking for during the planning process is one of the main investment pieces. So understanding if you rather just have a full service planner to handle all the details from beginning to end of your wedding. Some of those changes come in the form of their pricing structure. Now you do have to also consider and look at vendors as a business because ultimately they are. They are running a business in order to provide a service and a quality standard versus if you are a DIY bride or a DIY couple and you're looking to have just kind of coordination on the back end towards the later parts of the wedding, then you may be looking for a month of coordinator, which of course would be less than cost because there's less time frame that that professional is working on your wedding. So when you're initially starting this process, instead of asking how much does a planner cost, how much will this all cost us, consider what type of experience you're looking to achieve. For example, some professionals offer packages while others will do more custom pricing. Planners who offer packages often have a system that is repeated over and over again. It doesn't go, 
It doesn't change frequently. It typically involves the same vendors, the same process. It is like a assembly line, so to speak, of what they do, how they execute it, and what the end result is. Versus a planner that doesn't go off a pricing or packaging structure that kind of custom builds and creates a bespoken experience that has many moving pieces and doesn't always uh, follow the same structure or the same flow as a previous wedding that they've a done. A planner that offers packages typically has a system that remains the same from this one client to the next, whereas custom packages or custom service offerings really focus on the needs and priorities of a specific couple. Speaking of packages versus service offerings, the difference really comes into your experience, a luxury experience, which brings me into another subject that determines your budget is luxury weddings. Now, taking away the look of things for a moment, we're gonna remove the visual from a luxury wedding for just a second. Now, like I said, we're just going to take away the visuals and the mindset when it comes to luxury experiences a little bit differently just for a second because we all know over here we love the pretty but ultimately experience is everything so when you think of luxury you're not thinking on the level of what you see more also of what you feel a luxury wedding takes on a whole nother level of detail and work from the planning side from the planning perspective when you think of luxury weddings, I want you to envision the ultimate level of white glove service. So you're still asking, okay, what range does that fall in? What, how much can someone expect to spend to have a luxury wedding, to have an ultimate concierge experience, to have white glove service? Let me walk you through a little bit of a perspective. Couple A has 100K, couple B has 50K. Now, in your mind, you're probably saying, well, automatically, couple A is going to have the luxurious wedding. But what we I failed to mention in this description is that couple A has a guest count of 250 guests. Couple B has a guest count of 50 guests. So going back to my main point, a luxury experience is not always about the pretty. When you take into account these two budgets, but also these two separate guest counts, the couple with $50,000 going towards 50 people can just as easily elevate an experience. They can have a visually beautiful wedding. Like I said, so many things do come into play when it comes to considering what is luxury and what's a luxury wedding. My first question to any couple who states they want to have a luxury wedding is to ask how do you want that experience to feel? What do you want to, it to entail? Do you, are you talking beauty? Are you talking visuals? Are you talking aesthetic? Or are you are talking experience? Or are you talking a combination? My advice to any couple looking to have a wedding and not sure how much they should spend or how much this is going to cost them. First, you want to build a budget simply off of what you can afford, what you are able to allocate towards the wedding, and follow that up with what type of experience you're looking for. If that experience fits with the type of planner that you're looking for. I've also included another video where I talk about and I discuss the different planners there are, the roles and responsibilities they may have for your wedding day and how to choose the right one for you. Your wedding day is a once in a lifetime experience that you will want to relive over and over again not one that you will want to redo later down the line. And being completely transparent, your wedding will cost you as much or as little as you like it to. The hack in all of this is to align your expectations with your price point. The best thing about planning a wedding is 
the experience, the time, the energy, it is most certainly an investment. It is an investment that is so valuable, especially when the memories are priceless. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much again for watching. Join me next week for another Wedding Wednesday, and let's continue this conversation in the comments below. What do you think is a good price range for a wedding? And uh, I wanna hear where you're from as well. And I will see you guys next week in another Wedding Wednesday. Until then, Bye, loves.